Okay, so tonight we are going to be going through a full edit of this photo to something completely dramatic and epic using just a few little actions from the Uplift Photoshop Action Collection. And first I ask you to bear with me because I do have a cold, so my voice is a little crackly. Um, so here we have this beautiful picture of this couple on a hill with the mountains in the background. And it's nice, but we're looking at some blown out clouds over here, um, just some muddy colors over here, and we want to turn this into something really dramatic and epic. So the first thing that we're going to do here, we're not going to crop it or do anything just yet, we're just going to look at building in something that's going to be really cool. And uh, what we're going to do for that is use our Epic Skies action. And this collection will actually let you just paint in really super dramatic skies. You have 50 different overlays to choose from, um, and it's super easy, and I'm going to show you how easy it is. So once you have it installed, and you've got your overlays saved somewhere on your computer, you just head over to your Actions palette, and then you're going to go find your Uplift Epic Skies, and then just under that, there's your action. You're just going to hit play, and it tells you to get ready for some epic skies, and we're not joking. So all you need to do is click continue, and then it's going to pop open this window for you to go and navigate to try to find where you had saved your, um, your skies, and we're going to find one that we like. So we've got, let's see, something we're in the middle, so let's try to find something that's going to be a little bit dramatic, like this one up here that's got like the nice pink lines. Um, of the clouds. So just click place once you've chosen the one that you want. What it's going to do is drop it right there on your picture for you. So now holding shift while you grab your little bottom corner, you actually don't have to but I prefer to, you're going to draw, drag it over until you get it where you want. So let's get it somewhere around there. Okay and then all you need to do is hit enter or return whether on your PC or Mac and then it does its business. So now it doesn't look any different, right? So now head over to your layers palette and what we've got over here is our cloud overlay. So what you need to do, because there's a black layer mask here with a nice brush, so our brush size for an image this size, I'm going to say about, let's do about 450, 400 or so. So you change your brush size, make sure you're using a white brush and I don't like to do anything at 100% when it comes to painting. And so let's go to about 80% and then just start painting. Like, what? Seriously? Already? So we're just going to start painting in that epic sky that we wanted. You can right mouse click, and that's a little shortcut for you there. Just right mouse click and you can change your brush size. And at any point you can change your opacity. So as I get a little bit closer, to the horizon over here. I'm going to just start adjusting the opacity to get it how I want. Because it was only at 80%, I can paint it a little darker up here. Okay, So here's another shortcut for you. Um, because we're painting in white to bring it in, because we're on a black layer mask, if you just hit the X, it's going to invert your uh, palette here for you. So I hit X, and now I've got a black brush. So I don't want this over here. So I'm just going to paint that out. Same thing like over here. I'm just going to paint it out. And a little bit over here. Just to get a nice, nice, like seriously already? Like, that's, I'm sorry, that's epic. Um, and what you can do um, on this layer here as well is um, adjust your opacity. So we're at 100%. So let's just bring it back a little bit, like only to like 90, even a little bit more, 95. So there we go. So we've got that all set. And what I want to do now that we've got the clouds painted in, anytime I add something to a photo, I want to do that first. So if I'm going to be adding clouds or fixing anything or repairing blemishes on skin, whatever, I always do that first. So any tones or anything that we're adding to the photo afterwards, blends evenly and it's not like we're actually um, going to be adding things that don't blend. So what we want to do is get your clouds in first so we actually have a photo um, that we can build on. So now we're going to flatten it. So yes we can discard all our hidden layers, we don't need those. And we're going to head back over to our action palette. Um, next thing I would do here is tone the photo. 
So we're going to head over to our Uplift Essential Collection. That's where we have a lot of our um, film filters, our black and whites. It's a, got a little bit of everything. It's kind of a photographer's toolbox. So I'm going to go to my Vintage Tones over here, and I'm going to run Andy's Happily Ever After. This one's got a bit of a vintage... Um, it's got a pool vibe to it. It's got, kind of got some turquoises and some pinks when you run it, and I just think it'll really work with this photo. So there, I just hit Andy's there. You just hit play, head back over your layers palette, and you'll see that it ran at 50%. So we can adjust the opacity here to get more or less of what we're looking for. So I think 70% is really nice. And the good thing with all our actions, we always drop a layer mask in there for you. So you can paint in or out as you want. Now I'm missing a little bit of this, um, the contrast that's up top here. So I'm going to take a nice big brush, let's say about 500 pixels for something like this, and maybe at about 30%, and I'm just gonna start painting in with that black brush. And you can see it getting darker over here as I paint it in. So we're just gonna paint in with that dark brush in areas that I wanna bring back some of that contrast. So I'm basically what I'm doing here is just making a vignette. Okay, so we're just gonna paint it in, paint it in, paint it in, and wherever there's the white, it's gonna be the original um, image before we ran this action on top of it. So there we go, absolutely loving it. So with just a quick click back, we're gonna see that's where we started and that's where we're at. So we're doing pretty good already. We've gone from uh, pretty average to pretty epic pretty quick. Um, now just to add something a little bit extra here, um, another one of my favorites is the Pretty Wash. And what that is is just kind of like a nice soft pink pastel. And it'll drop over the whole image. It doesn't change it too much. And like all our actions, it only runs at a nice low opacity so you don't get terrified as soon as you hear, see it run. And we're at 30% here. So... There's a pretty wash action. I'm going to bump it up just to show you. So you can see that soft pastel that's going to drop in there. Let's drop it to about 80. And then making sure that we have that layer mask selected and a nice black brush, because it's a white layer mask, you need a black brush. We can bump up our opacity of the brush to say about 70% or so. And I'm just going to make the brush the size I need, around 300%, just so I can paint out a little bit of the subject and the, around the subject. So what that's going to do is, I think, everything that's going to be nice and soft and pastel, that's going to give them a little bit of a boost. And then the final thing that I usually do on all my photos, there's actually two things. Um, today I think we're just going to do one though, is head over to our essential uh, workflow collection, which is one of my favorites, um, is the Smart Sharpener brush. And it literally is a brush that just sharpens any part of the image that you want. It says, you know, paint where you a little bit of sharpness. So... Again, checking, we've got a black layer mask, so we need a white brush. We're just gonna paint in where we want that sharpness. And then that ran at 60%. We don't want it too much. See, that's 100%. There's that 60. Let's do about 40% to add that little bit of sharpness to the photo. And I think we're onto something good here. I think lastly, I thought that was gonna be last, but I kind of want to bring in a little bit more of those purples and the pinks up in the sky up here. So um, also part of our uh, essential workflow collection is the color popper. And what that is is an overall saturation booster. It's just gonna bring back a little bit of color to everything. So we're just gonna go there, hit play. You can immediately see if we pop over the layers palette, turning it on and off, it literally lit up the sky there. So I don't like how warm they are. So I'm just gonna point, paint them out a little bit. So it's more about the sky there. And there we go. That's it, so we've gone from, let's click here, going back to see where we started from, completely average to completely epic. Using a few clicks, we've used the Epic Skies collection of cloud overlays and a little bit from the Essential and Workflow collections, uh, both of which are available as a bundle over at upliftactions.ca and uh, Hope you enjoyed this. Hope it helped uh, shed a little bit of light on how to use your actions and how you can take your photos from average to epic. So uh, stay tuned. We're going to be posting lots more of these tutorials. Take care. Happy editing. Bye.